Hi everyone, this is Teacher Jules once again and we are in another lesson in the mathematics in the modern world, the unit 3.2 of our data management which is the measures of central tendency. Specifically, you need to demonstrate understanding of the various measures of the central tendency of an ungrouped data specifically. Discuss the properties and use of mean median and mode and to demonstrate skills in solving for the mean median and the mode in today's modern world one of the most important things that you need to have is the internet we use internet to do research to chat with friends to attend online class or to watch entertaining videos we even use internet to shop and pay bills online and sometimes to work remotely. However, having internet is not enough. It should be fast and at the same time reliable. According to the worldpopulationreview.com, here are the top 10 countries with the fast internet speed. Singapore is the nation with the fastest broadband speed. Internet speed in this country is 250.35 Mbps. In the Philippines, which is on the 92nd rank, have an average of 31.44 Mbps. Look at the gap. Too far, right? You might say this is not your internet speed at home. That's because this data was described using measures of central tendency. Measures of central tendency is a single value that attempts to describe a set of data by identifying the central position within that set of data. For example, what if someone will ask you about your monthly electricity consumption? And the data shown are your electricity usage for the past 12 months in kilowatt hour. Instead of stating all these values, you can use the measure of central tendency and just say your monthly consumption is around 196.25 kilowatt hour. Most set of data show a distinct tendency to group around a central value. When people talk about an average value or the middle value or the most frequent value, they are talking about the three most common measures of central tendency, the mean, median, and the mode. The most common measure of tendency is the mean, or the average value. The mean is defined to be the sum of the data values divided by the total number of values. A sample mean is represented by x bar. So if you want to compute for the sample mean, all you need to do is to add all the values divided by the number of value that you have represented by the equation the summation of x divided by n where x are the values in the given data set and n are the number of values to understand clearly let us have this example six friends in a biology class of 20 students receives test grades of 92 84 65 76 88 and 90 let us try to find the mean of these test scores. First, using the formula mean is equal to the summation of x over n, get the sum of their scores. So we have the scores are 92 plus 84 plus 65 plus 76 plus 88 and plus 90. Divided by 6. Why 6? Because there are 6 scores. So adding them, we have 495 divided by 6. 495 divided by 6, that is 82.5. Therefore, the mean test scores of 6 students is 82.5. Simple as that. Now let us try to have another example. The age of 5 contestants in a statistic quiz B are the following. 18, 17, 18, 19, and 18. Now let us try to find their average age. Again, using the formula mean is equal to the summation of x over n. So the summation of x, we have 18 plus 17 plus 18 plus 19 plus 
18 and our n is equal to 5. So we are going to sum it up. We have 90 over 5. So 90 divided by 5 is equal to 18 and our mean is 18. Therefore, the average age of the 5 contestant is 18 years old. The next measure of central tendency is the median. Median is the middle value in an ordered array of data that has been ranked from smallest to largest. To compute for the median, we will follow these two rules. Rule number one, if the data set contains an odd number of values, the median is the measurement associated with the middle ranked value. And rule number two, if the data set contains an even number of values, the median is the measurement associated with the average of the two middle ranked values. Now let us have this example. Seven mothers were selected and given a blood pressure check. Their blood pressures were recorded below. What we're going to do is to find their median. First thing that we need to do is to arrange or order this data set. We have 116, 119, 121, 121, 130, 131, and 135. In this example, we have seven data values and this is an odd number of values. That is why we need to follow rule number one. All we need to do is to identify the middle rank value. So if we have rank 1 to 7, the middle rank is 4. And what corresponds this rank? We have 121. Therefore, the median of this data set is 121. Now, let us try to have this example. Eight novels were randomly selected and the numbers of pages were recorded as follows. Let us try to find their median. If we're going to order this data set, we can see here that the sample size is 8. And this is an even number of values. So we need to use the rule number 2. All we need to do is identify the two middle rank values, and in this case, it's 407 and 415. Getting the average of these two numbers, we are going to add and divide it by 2. So 407 plus 415, we have 822, and then divided by 2, we have 411. Therefore, the median is 411. Now, if you want to identify the most frequent data in the data set, you can use the mode. Mode, it is the value that occurs most often in the data set. Now, let us try to have this example. We're going to find the mode of the given data set. Now, given here the data, same with the median, we need to arrange the set in order. And by identifying the frequency for each of the data, we can identify here now the most frequent data. The frequency of 22 is 3, the frequency of 25 is 2, and we have the frequency of 43 is also 2. And the rest, we have only 1. So it's clearly stated here that 22 has the frequency of 3 and it is the data who has the highest frequency. Therefore, the mode is 22. In this case, we only have one mode. So this is known to be a unimodal data set. Now let us try to have another example. The speed of 10 stenographers in typing per minute are as follows. Again, arrange the data in order. We can see here upon arranging that 115 and 121 both have frequency of 2 and the rest we only have 1. Therefore, the mode is 115 and 121. We have two modes and the data set is said to be bimodal set. 
In this next example, notice that each of these data have a frequency of only one, meaning there is no mode for this set of data. And that's all for this lecture videos about the measures of the central tendency. Next meeting or next lesson, we're going to talk about the measures of dispersion, which is the lesson or the unit 3.3. .3. See you!